Welcome everybody, I am Tom, and you are going to watch me play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Specifically, I'm going to be doing a New Game Plus playthrough on Deathmatch. I will... apparently I don't have a Witcher 2 save on this game, so I'll just simulate it. New Game Plus, continue. To start New Game Plus, you first must choose a save made after completing the standard version of the game. Fair enough. Uh, that is... Game Plus that has already started, so this one is the one I want. Cutscenes. You know I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. 
go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. And we're here. It always struck me as the height of laziness, the way that these sorceresses seem to always get dressed using magic. Having said that, there is an inordinate amount of laces on that underwear, so I guess to each their own. In any case, first thing I'm going to talk about is the mods that I currently have installed. Let's go out here to shit this beautiful valley. Shit. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. I agree, Geralt. Alright, so the mods I have installed. First and foremost, I have auto loot installed. All of these will be linked in the description, by the way. Um, auto loot is quite good because it actually has a mod menu that lets you do all of your settings. Perfectly fine. And you can change anything. You can change what you want auto looted. Whether or not it does quest containers is down here as well, I think. Doesn't steal. Um, I might actually turn that on now I think about it. This game has a nasty habit of not looting enemies. <laughs> not looting enemies after you've killed them. However. The other mods I have installed, I have a mod that changes the experience, how the experience works. In this game, the experience seems to... Well, it works based on your level, essentially, so if I have a quest log, I do have a quest log. All these quests have suggested levels, and if you do one that is above your suggested level, you get full experience. If you do one at your suggested level, you get full experience, but the experience dies down for lower level quests. Ordinarily, that's not really a problem, because if you just follow the general quests as to the level you can do them, it's fine. But in New Game Plus, because I'm going to have armor and weapons and all my skills, I'm going to try and sequence break the game fairly heavily, because the game is surprisingly good at working just by sequence breaking, and it seems to fix itself very well. Specifically in this one, I think I'm going to try and do Skelliger before I do anything in Velen and Overgrad. I may do a few side quests in Velen and Overgrad initially, simply to get my level up a bit. But then I'm going to do Skelliger first, which will mean when I get towards the end of the game, I'm going to have trouble with levels and such, because I think my character on the New Game Plus save is going to start out at level 56. Which means, by the end of the game, the, le the end quests are going to be level 100-ish? Probably, I think over 100. I think specifically level 51 is the highest you can be if you want any of your quests to stay over, like the highest level quests in New Game Plus to stay under level 100. So we're going to see how that goes. Secondly, I've got a mod that scales Witcher armor and DLC unique armor up to your level. It's one thing that I didn't really like about the way that New Game Plus worked in this is that you essentially redo all of the gear. Your gear that you had from the previous game is all useless. which kind of makes sense, I suppose, but it makes it so that you just have to do all the scavenger hunts and things again to get... Like, it's... It doesn't really give you the power to do what you want to do for sequence breaking and stuff. So, once again, because I want a sequence break, I've set it up such that 
all the armor I have will level up with me. Or at least all of the kind of unique Witcher armor and things will level up with me. So that should also help with being able to take this break. And I think that's all I've got for mods. If I remember another one, it will be in the description. I'll mention it next episode. But, let's get to the actual game. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. I can imagine this game would actually be quite confusing if you come directly from Witcher, th Witcher 2 and never read any of the books. Particularly this opening. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion, you should know that. Having said that, these tiny little sort of dispots into Yennefer's life kind of lead you into it fairly well at the start. Also, she was admonishing us for not being ready by midday, and look at this, I'm dressed. She ain't. Bullshit. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. I mean, that's clearly not true. Your undergarments are black. Uh, we got just a key left, I think. Oh. Got a finger of toiletries, as it were. <laughs> Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. As I said. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive. Not to mention unreasonable. Yeah, for all being a dream, Geralt has a very well-rounded subconscious, I suppose. He's arguing with himself in his head, essentially. I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, so that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Nice save, girl. game is beautiful. The fire effects particularly, actually. I don't know how they've done their fire effects, but they look amazing. Better than pretty much any other game I've ever seen. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Prefers practice to theory. Hmm. Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Uh, I'm gonna play it good, good girls, I think. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. 
Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Hmm. Better not. <laughs> Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. I just auto skip the tutorial. Makes sense, it's new game plus. Still somewhat surprising though, I would have thought they'd give you the option. Because it goes straight to free training here. Anything we'll to see, say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, <laughs> like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> so smug. <laughs> uh. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals, or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. Mm, it no does. Point going it over auto the skips basics again. Auto skips all the tutorials for some reason. I mean, it makes sense. In fact, it skips the entire thing. You don't do free training. Ha! Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? Vesemir. I've not awakened this 
Darkness and the White Wolf. No! Gotta wonder what Eridan has in his mask that makes him sound like that. Comes with an inbuilt voice modulator in all the Wild Hunt uniforms. to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> True to life, indeed. We'll find her. Hmm. It speaks well that Vesemir knows Yen as well as he does. So the start of this game is tricky because Geralt has his memories back. But if you've just played The Witcher 1 and The Witcher 2 and you haven't read any of the books, you don't? So the character knows more than you do, which is an odd kind of way to try and work this back, but they did it fairly well, I think. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. Mm. See, just like little comments like that, it shows you that... Vesemir doesn't care for her that much. <laughs> but also that... Like it seems to be describing her attitudes and her mannerisms fairly well before you even meet her. And by you, I mean the player, not the character, because Geralt, obviously. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Nope. <laughs> That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. See, that's we that line always struck me as very weird. Presumably Vesemir knows what the Wild Hunt is. Hmm. Whatever, that goes into spoilerific territory. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? 
I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. <laughs> the things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Not bad. Zero damage when you dodge is very useful. Yes, but sweet. Six percent chance. Oh. I should do that, fellas. Armies pass. Necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. That's actually something I forgot to mention. It's not a mod per se, but I've set up macros such that on my mouse I have n numerical buttons, 1 through 12 technically. But I've set it up so that a push of those buttons will use a sign. So it's m more akin to The Witcher 2 style. So I can push the button and use a sign directly. I have to set it and then do it, set it, then do it, set it, then do it. Which, in this playthrough, probably won't come through a huge amount, because I don't have huge amounts of sign usage, but... Beware, bandits calling themselves Temerius. Soldiers are hiding in nearby woods. They've been declared outlaws and threat to the Empire's subjects. The system of sheltering them in any way will be summarily punished to the fullest extent permitted by Imperial law. On behalf of the Emperor of Nilfgaard, Captain Peter Sargwinlev. An intriguing kind of notion that. Third in any skull case. in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? <laughs> yes, indeed. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Crossroads. Alright. Since I now have this waypoint... Whoa! I'm gonna leave it here, because I want to keep these episodes fairly short, because I'm sure, as you've guessed from my accent, I'm Australian, which means we have shithouse internet, particularly upload speeds. So... I can't have super long episodes, unfortunately. I prefer to probably do, like, 45 minutes to an hour episodes, but it's not a logical thing to do. So, I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I shall see you in part two.